So we've got no wind this morning, uh, four knots on the nose. It's um, 45 nautical miles to roads from here. And we're estimated to reach roads around half past three. At this speed? At this speed, but we're hoping a bit later on we get a bit of wind, to be but there fair. There is supposed to be fairly good winds later. Uh, increasing wind, yeah. The wind's filling during the day and we should have a good wind this afternoon, so hopefully um, we should get there by mid-afternoon. I guess we hit some wind. Yeah, yeah at least we're, we're sailing. Four knots to 25 knots. Yeah, we're just rounding the headland out of Gojek. We've got to head a little bit north to then tack back down towards roads. Well, it's been an interesting day so far. It's about half past two in the afternoon and we were aiming for roads, which is, um, it was about 43 miles. Um, we got it out into the sea. And I tell you what, I haven't seen waves quite that big for quite some time. They're about three metres high at times. And it's doing exactly that, crashing into them all the time. Battling through, it's a nightmare. So we're finally in Greek waters. Um, waited two and a half years for it, but we're here now, so we're on our way to the boat. Uh, the sea's calmed down, we've only got seven knots of wind. We're nearly there, we've got about another hour and a half to go, two hours to go, and um, we'll be checking in in roads. Well, we made it to roads. We're all checked in, just going for a walk. We had a year off, now we're going for a beer. It's exciting, we're here. Finally made it. So we're just walking through the old town just to find somewhere for a beer. We have just had a chicken from Coke, a gift from, from friends of ours, which is lovely. That's Helen and Andrew. And now using it as a, and as a, bit as of a heater. heater. <laughs> but I tell you what, it's lovely. That's really nice. So we've had a good day today. We came into the harbour, um, mainly because of the wind coming up to it, well, overnight tonight and tomorrow into the following day. So we thought, well, we might as well make use of the harbour. It's 15 euro a day, and that includes water and electricity. So you can't really go wrong, can you? And we've needed to top up with water. We also needed some washing doing, so we're really happy. So this is why we decided to stay in the harbour for the next couple of days. Quite a wind. There's a yacht just where we were. Quite a lot of white tops, looking a little bit rough, actually. So yeah, we made a good decision there, I think. How's it going? Yeah, we're doing good. We um, just went to Lidl. Well, we didn't go to Lidl in the end because it was too far. So we got as far as the marina and turned back. We didn't need to, we just thought we'd walk there. So we're now going to walk down into this castle bit. It's lovely, isn't it? And try and find something to have a drink in a Euros. Euros for lunch. So we're just on the back end of the castle. Walking. Actually, the moat. In the moat itself. So we're going to walk all the way through and see what's at the other end. No, this is probably the moat. Well, good morning from sunny Greece. Got 19 knots of wind, and we left Mandraki Harbour this morning. Got about 20 knots of wind. Yeah. Filled you know out. Which yeah, it makes is kind more of, sense to hand steer. Yeah, we've kind of been pulled around a little bit with the big Geno you know out, but the city's over there, we're on our way. Yeah, so we left road yesterday morning. When we got to Simi, we realised that um, there was going to be wind overnight. So we set to sail last night about midnight, 
and we headed over to Tilos. And here we are uh, in the bay in Tilos. We've just set sail again. We're off up to the top bay now. Um, it's called Plaque, isn't it, the top one? Plaque, yeah. We're in Lavardi at the moment. Yeah, that, that'll give us a better angle for going to Astor Player on Monday or Tuesday. Oh, we were doing great until we got to this corner and to be honest with you, the, the wind's now going in all sorts of different directions and so is the sea. It's a bit, um, a bit confused at the moment and we keep tacking. We're getting there. That's Lots sailing. Tacking. Yeah, we're getting used to tacking now, again. If every sailing day could be like today, we oh, honestly... We've got 16 knots of wind, 60 degrees, so we've got a good position. Yeah. So it we're going that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to tack in a minute. Well, we made it. We've arrived at the top of <coughs> Tilos in a tiny little bay. It doesn't look as if it'd be very sheltered, but actually, if you look all around us... Oh, it's, it's actually really nice, to be honest. It is, yeah. yeah There's nice. kind of land all around us, which is brilliant. Um, we're anchored in about 10 metres, so stuck out quite a lot of chain. But there's not supposed to be any wind tonight. Um, there's another boat coming in there, over there, which you won't be able to see, but there you go. So we're just putting the kettle on, gonna have some lunch because we're starving and it's, well, quarter to five and we're left at one o'clock. So it's lunch. Well, good morning, it's Monday the 9th of May and we are at the top of Tilos in a little bay called Placa and we're just leaving. We're heading toward Astipalea, I nearly said a Morgos there, Astipalea. It's um, quite a long run, it's going to be about 40 odd miles and apparently it's quite rough out there. Our friends have gone ahead of us on their uh, catamaran Irradiance. They messaged us to say it's quite rough. There is a bit of wind so we'll just have to see how it goes. still going. The sea is quite big as you can probably see. It's quite a slow, gentle swell though. We're kind of rolling over most of it. Um, we've got about 20 odd knots of wind. We arrived. Um, we're in Astor Player and we're in Lavardia, which is where we've been before to be honest, but um, this is a nice anchorage, lovely castle on here, beautiful. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to go ashore and have a walk with a few pictures. Well, you have to say, you know you're in Greece when you found the blue and white buildings. How pretty are those? And the benefit for us is there's a water fountain. So there's fresh water coming out the taps and we can come back and fill up our canisters. So that's fantastic. That's on Lavardi Beach. Well, we've climbed the hill, but we're not quite there yet. That is one impressive castle. It's beautiful, isn't it? And you've got some windmills down on this side. Such a lovely place. Well, we called in at the port authorities, which is the port police, just over here, right in front of us, and they didn't seem too interested in signing anything, but we got them to stamp our transit log just to be on the safe side, as we've come from roads via a couple of islands and not actually checked in anywhere. But yeah, they were very friendly. They said the port here, the little harbour, is actually free. If you want water, you just have to ask one of the local municipality guys. What have you got? The biggest donut in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. That is terrible. We've got some bread, some fresh stuff, some vegetables, and Kevin's yes. bought a donut. And awesome we had, a, we sat and had a beer. I can't believe it, but it's beautiful. We've had a lovely morning. I think after yesterday's sail, you kind of need a bit of a a chill out day. Well, 
Well, goodbye, Astapalia, Astapalaya, however you want to say it. It was quarter to six in the morning when we set off. How is it? Yeah, it's good actually at the minute. We've got eight knots of wind coming up, so it seems to be filling in a little bit. Sorry, I've got to ignore you. You've got sunrise. Um, we're doing about four and a half knots, up to five at times. And the wind, well, it's picked up quite nicely. We're just having to deviate slightly from our course. But we're actually heading to the little island of Anafi. And um, we were on course perfectly, but then, of course, the wind just wasn't good enough. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, why not do it now? Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.